What's up all you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of TsunamiRose.net coming at you with a, another video here today. After I did my last video, I decided to go out and head out to the thrift shops. Um, Monday, uh, um, on Mondays, uh, Savers Thrift Shop here in my town um, has 50% off everything. So everything was 50% off today. And I went to four out of five of their thrift shops here in the city. Hi, Patricia. And I got busy. Um, so everything was 50% off. Everything I bought today was 50% off. Um, I went out for like, oh my God, like four hours, <laughs> three or four hours. Hi, Miss Tammy, how are you? And so um, I had a good day. Today was nice and fresh and it was just like, a good day to go to the thrift stores. Hi, Miss Jen. How are you? So I headed out, um, like I said, after I went live. And uh, I got some good stuff. I got some decor pieces because I do want to decorate my craft room. So I picked up, I, I was looking. I was really looking, but maybe everybody got to the good stuff. I don't know. But I got this one jar. Uh, it's a ball jar. And uh, it's just really cute. So uh, this was $1.99, so it was a dollar. So this was a steal for one Dwala. That's a good deal. That's a good deal. And then I also got this um, teal blue vase um, that I could put something in or fake flowers. Uh, this was $4.99, so this was $2.50. And it's just a really, really nice uh, jar here. So I'm happy that I got it. Happy, happy, happy. Hi, God's Desire for you and Miss Letitia. I also got this packet of napkins. Now, do I need napkins? No, I do not. <laughs> but they were only, they were $2.50, so I got them for $1.25. I got all these here for $1.25, y'all. These are brand new packets of napkins. Here's one of the designs. So beautiful. Here's another design right here. That's so pretty. Little blackberries and raspberries. Oh, so fancy. I think it goes this way. That's beautiful. Here's the one The one design. Flowers and butterflies. So cute. If y'all do have a moment, please give me a little thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Here's the other design here. Oh, so there's two of these. Okay, cool. Sorry, you guys, I had a mute. I wasn't sure if I was going to sneeze. <laughs> so I got these for $125. Three of these. There must be at least 25 napkins in each set. So that is a great, great deal right here. Um, excuse me, my allergies are acting. Oh, 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 this was the steal. This was the steal of the century, you guys. $7. Seven dollars. So I paid everything today was half off. So this was three fifty. Three fifty for this whole package of cuddle bug um, embossing. Embossing. Here's a little like stamp. This was the steal of the century right here. Congrats to thank you. See these little ones. I've never seen little ones times two. That's cute. Discover little lips. And two little frames. That is interesting. Yep, I bought this for three fifty. What is this? Like a note card, like a notebook paper or something? Interesting shape. And it's a whole bunch of them. Here's this, like uh, the little triangles, whatever, the, whatever this <laughs> pattern is called. Checkerboard? No, not really. I don't think it's checkerboard. Here's some like Celtic design. Perfectly good condition, right? Okay. This is some like seashell design arch thing. Very cool. Diamonds, okay. <laughs> and these uh, Fleur de Lis. Oh, these are beautiful. These are beautiful right here. Uh, this says 10 fingers and toes, curious eyes, gurgling mouth, a gentle soul, miracle in our midst. That is what, anyways, <laughs> it's like some baby shower thing. 
This says you're invited. This is a little owl and a little frame, if you can see that. Maybe I should do this little owl and a little frame. A little floral moment. Love it. And then I think I already have this one. No, 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 I don't. It's like a little bird. I thought it was the wood grain, but it's like a little, like a little bird scene. One moment. Hello, Miss Safina. And then this looks really old. <laughs> I say that because literally the plastic is yellowing. And the plastic is falling apart as we speak. But it just has a bunch of words on it. Seems kind of cute. So all this for $3.50. I don't think that was a bad deal at all. Again, steal of the century. I got all these <laughs> <laughs> for three fifty, that this is the best find right here. Best best find I could have ever asked for. And I'm making a mess because I'm just putting everything on the floor. <laughs> I got some books. I got this book right here. Oh, I didn't notice that this is Ventura County. This is actually where I'm from. So I got this book for one fifty because it was three dollars. So everything today, like I said, was half off. And uh, Fine Arts Museum of Ventura. I didn't know it was from my hotel. That is pretty cool. Um, so this is a uh, recipe book because I thought I'm running out of my recipes. So let me buy some recipe books. Hi, Miss Cheryl. How are you? I'm still going to go live tonight, you guys. So I'm going to cut these out like this, and then I can use these on random pages. I need to do this. So I'm going to cut all these apart. And then these, these pages are interesting right here, these little tab, uh, tab moments. I'm into it. I'm into it. So that's the idea on why I bought this book because I want to cut out the recipes and I can glue those into my junk journals. Okay. Sorry if I'm slamming it. I probably shouldn't do that. Oh, oh, oh. Then I got this thing right here for one thing. Oh, this better not ruin it. Oh, my God. I swear. Um, <laughs> I got this little wall hanging for... 150. Oh my gosh, please. Okay, cool. And I've seen this vintage image, and I think somebody just did a transfer on it. And I can't tell, but I was like, this would look so cute somewhere in my room because it's cute and vintage. So definitely, I'm gonna really, I think it's gonna look really cute in my room somewhere. It's really tiny. It's only, um, like five by five or something. Yeah, it's about like five by five, but it's really cute. Uh, yeah, it was a bargain. Yeah, it was, it was a bargain for that. Um, this one is 50 cents because it was a dollar, so half off. And this is also a recipe book, so I can use, like, like I said, put <laughs> the recipes and just glue them into my journals. I'm so excited. Cream cheese kolache and butter cookies. Yes. Okay. So exciting. So exciting. So there's that book. And then, <laughs> do I need a little golden books? No. Did I buy little golden books? Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. So I bought this Bambi uh, little golden book. It was in good condition. And it cost me about 60 cents because 129 cut in half. Um, and it's in really good condition. And uh, this one's vintage. And I actually like Bambi. And I don't think I have a Bambi one. So I bought it. <laughs> Again, do I need more local to books? No, I don't. <laughs> yes, Ms. Dina, I went shopping. I did it. I went shopping. I don't like shopping. Um, here's another um, 
uh, recipe book. Adventures in microwave cooking. That looks gross. <laughs> that does not look good. I don't think I'm allowed to show that on, on, on YouTube. <laughs> uh, here are recipes, right? These are right, right. Yes, so nice sized recipes for me to cut out and stick in my book. And then I really like these uh, tabs here. I really like these tabs. But um, some, of them, some of these have illustrations. So I went with it. I bought it. I guess I bought a couple of recipe books today, now that I remember. <laughs> now that I am coming to my senses, <laughs> I bought a couple of recipe books. So that's one I bought. You might not need another Bambi. <laughs> it won't be in your shop too long. It is so cute. The little Bambi one is adorable. Um, so that's the Bambi one. I also got a Dumbo. Again, because it's vintage. That's why I bought it. So this one's Dumbo. Again, it was in great condition. I am getting picky with the golden books that I want to buy now. I want them to be good condition, and I want them to be ones that I like. Because some, some of the books don't really call my attention. Uh, but this this one, uh, I like Bambi. So I grew up watching Bam I mean, uh, Bambi and Dumbo. So those will be going in my stash. <laughs> in my stash till I get to them. Uh, let's see. I got this roll of wallpaper. For 50 cents because it was a dollar. Oh gosh. Let's see if I can get it open to show y'all. Yeah, I went to four thrift shops today. <laughs> and they were pretty far apart too. I, I should there was a fifth one I wanted to get to, but I just I was getting sleepy. <laughs> I was getting I was needing a nap by the time I got back. Uh, by the time I got to the fourth store. Okay, so this is some fairy tales, some fairy wallpaper. Very interesting. The design is pretty cute. I think then it repeats after this. Yeah, it, so this is basically the scene right here, and then it repeats. But very nice, very pretty. I like the colors. This could go in my purple junk journal. You could pick different sections of them, different little scene sections. So this could be cute. This could be really cute. I love it. I, love it. I always look out for wallpaper. Always, always looking out for wallpaper. I don't. Have, I don't find too too many, but you always gotta watch out for wallpaper. Um, let's see. What this is. I got this stack of, I don't, I really don't need this stuff, but, <laughs> but then again, I do. Um, these are like word cards or something. Yeah, they're like word cards, vocabulary word cards, something. I can only tell, I can only see this one card, but um, these could be cute. Yeah, give, point out these sounds, spellings in the word give. Like pronunciation. Interesting. Okay, and on the back is the word. That is cool. That is pretty. These could be even like used as pockets. I could stitch on these and use them as pockets. These would be cute. I like the font. There's so many of them. <laughs> so many of them. This cost me $1.50. But there's a lot of them. So that is a little daunting, but hey. <laughs> we're in it for the long haul. Okay, we're in it for the long haul. <laughs> Y'all have a moment. Please do give me a little thumbs up. It really helped me out. Uh, here I have a new, pa new package. This looks like it's from 1999 or something. Uh, Avery laser labels for uh, addresses. They are one inch by two and almost what the heck is five eighths. I guess almost three inch. <laughs> and 
and uh, they are just these labels here. And I guess, ooh, okay, I didn't, I did not realize some of them had this blue. Oh, I love that. I'm definitely just gonna use these on my pages. These are cute. These are really cute. I thought they were just white. I do have some white ones. Okay, yeah, no. No, yeah, they're all white. They're all white. And they gave me some samples, I guess, of some other labels. Okay, I was like, how? I thought they were just white labels. Yeah, so basically almost one by three inch labels. I can print stuff out on them. I think I've seen people just print out like a whole journal page on here and then just use this little piece. That'd be cute. I'm going to use them for something. There was a lot of them in here. There's a, It's basically a whole package. So I don't think it's missing any pages, but I'm not going to count them. It's supposed to be 100 sheets, and I got this for two dwellers, two dollars. What are you going to do with them? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. <laughs> I don't know yet, but I'm going to do something with them. When? I don't know. Okay, here's the last of the books that I got. Uh, this one is The Lord is My Shepherd, also another little golden book. The Lord is My Shepherd. So I got this for like 60-ish 60, 60 cents. And uh, I'm always on the lookout for Christmas. Uh, little golden books, uh, faith, prayer, little golden books, and... The Disney stories, the vintage ones, anyways. So, this could be one of my prayer journals. Okay, and it's in it's in very good condition. Um, yeah, no, this is in good condition. You can tell it's been read, it's been used, but no, nobody's written in it, so like, yay. <laughs> yay, nobody's written in it. That's always a plus with little golden books, because these children... <laughs> okay, and then I got uh, the 12 Days of Christmas little golden book. And I don't think this one, oh, it is vintage. Technically, it doesn't have the website on the back. But I bought it just because it's a cute theme. Obviously, like I said, I'm always on the lookout for Christmas little golden books. And uh, it's just this like little Christmas story. It's really cute um, art in here. I love it. It can, it kind of lends itself to a pink Christmas theme or a regular Christmas theme, either one. It has, it does have some pinks in here, some nice pastels and such. So I thought this was a good buy. Again, um, that is a weird inside this. Normally they do not look like this at all. That's rather odd that it has this. I've never seen that. I have never seen that in my life. This right here, what? I, I, I don't even know what to say. But um, again, Vintage Love Golden Book, great condition. It cost me 50 cents because it was 99 cents. So half off, 50 cents, really cute little golden book. I love it. Can't wait to work with it. I might just work with that one tonight. We'll see. Uh, here is, I oh, and this is another recipe book. I really like recipe books that have blue text. Blue text. I don't know what it is about the blue text in recipe books that just looks so cute. And it really lends itself to junk journaling. I made a bunch of uh, tags last year or sometime. I don't remember. And they had um, this really cute blue text with red illustrations. And so it was just really fun to work with this um, type of book. Just like I said, the blue recipe books, I really, really enjoy. Really, really enjoy working with. They look so cute. This was a really fun book. I don't even remember the name of it. But it was a really cute recipe book with illustrations. And so I got this one because <laughs> it has Texas in it. <laughs> this is the most adorable cover right here. I I didn't even notice it's text with little hearts. I can. This is like so cute. Hi, Lenny. Hi, hi, hi. And so this is another uh, recipe book with blue text. And they just have these really cute little hearts across the top. 
I really, really love this book. It is just so cute. Again, blue recipe text in, in recipe books. Like, give it to me. Give it to me. Christmas wreaths. Look at that. I love me a blue text recipe book. Let me tell you, how cute is that little armadillo? I cannot. I cannot. Look at these. Oh, so cute. Let me, I don't know. Uh, that's that's in your options. That is up to you. Nobody nobody minds you. Uh, mini cheesecakes. Okay, I love this book. I love. Oh, I even love the index. The index is so pretty. Oh, ho, ho. but look at this cover, y'all. I cannot with this cover. This little Texas heart cover. I'm going to have to um make a journal for my sister or something with this cover because she lives in Texas. So wouldn't that be the cutest cover for a junk journal? Stay tuned. I might put these two together and make a regular junk journal cover. Oh my God. Okay, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. I just love it. Um, also, oh my God, you guys. Oh my God. They're going to be in the YouTube settings. Oh my god, you guys, I got all of these books. Okay, so let me tell you about these books. Me and these books. <laughs> I love these books. I have gone through about 30 of these books. Um, you can find them randomly. <laughs> At thrift stores, also, you might be able to find them at, like, a school, no, not school, like a library sale. And basically, okay, so these books are called, you can read that, The Time Life Encyclopedia of Gardening. Okay, if you find these, <laughs> grab them. The Time Life Encyclopedia of Gardening. These are some of my favorite books. Whenever I find them, I will grab them. Um, they have uh, such fabulous uh, botanical illustrations. I need to cut these out too because that's actually kind of cute and I didn't think about that before. Um, they have the most beautiful. Where's that one page? There's this one page that they have where the it's like full on, uh, see, these are beautiful right here. First of all, you can just see the pages. Okay. Okay. You see this right here? Do you see this? This isn't even the good part. This is not even the good part. This is whatever this, I've had this book before too. <laughs> I remember that page. But um, they have different subjects. I'm looking for this one page that is, like, illustrated. Um, they have, um, in the back of the book, there's a lot of text. And in the back of the book is where all the good stuff is. Illustrations. Oh, here it is. This is the, this is the good page on here. And the pages are nice and wide and big, so you can fold them in half and use them as a signature. Also, the paper is nice and heavy, but not like cardstock heavy. But once you get to the back, look at this, how beautiful these, uh, these photos are here. If you have a moment, please give me a little thumbs up. Yes, Monique, I am on here early today. Well, I'm showing off the stuff I got at the at the thrift shop, girl. It was 50% off at Saver. So I took, oh, here it is. This is it. This is it right here. This is my favorite page of all these books. They have one page that's like this beautiful floral uh, botanical drawing. And it's just gorgeous, and I love it. So this is my favorite page. There's only one per book, right? Only one of these per book, but they are gorgeous, gorgeous. But then you get to the back of the book, and this is where the money is right here. They have a bunch of pages of these beautiful uh, floral images, and I cut them out. 
and I use them in my journals, and I love them. They are in different subjects. This one is obviously roses. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Anytime I see these, I grab them. I love these books. And you think, oh, I have so many once you get them, but you will use them. I will tell you that right now. You will use them all up. So whenever you see them, grab them. Again, they are the Time Life Encyclopedia of Gardening. I got some water because I'm thirsty. They have these brown, brown um, spines. I always spot them because of the brown spine. And they have different subjects. This one's about roses. I got these for a dollar each. Uh, these are about flowering house plants. And you guys, it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. Look at this. Oh, this is really pretty. I'm going to cut these up. I never cut these up. I you would just throw those pages away and I would just concentrate on these right here. <laughs> so you guys get your hands on these books. Again, it's just so random whenever you find them. Just so random because I mean, I don't, I don't know where they used to sell these, but I have found them at uh, th different thrift shops and I have found them at library sales. Uh, this one's about perennials. I am a very excited, Lenny. <laughs> this one is about bulbs. So different flowers, I guess, that are bulb, bulbous. <laughs> Look at this. I cannot, you guys. Like, I've actually been running out of, out of my pretty uh, flower cutouts. All I had was like shrubs and trees. <laughs> I am so glad. And sometimes the illustration is huge. Sometimes it's really big. These ones are actually pretty moderate, but sometimes they are really big. Like this one's actually kind of large. <sighs> and I even like their index pages. Their index pages look really nice, really cute, really junky. Uh, this one's about uh, flowering shrubs and evergreens. Ugh, evergreen. Maybe for Christmas, this would be a good stash for Christmas. Oh, they mean like this kind of evergreens. I thought they meant like Christmas trees. <laughs> okay, okay. They do have some Christmas trees, so maybe I can use these for my Christmas journals. That would be that would be a thought. That would be an idea. Okay, because it does look like a little Christmas tree, like even this. They look like Christmas trees. Okay. Uh, let's see. This one is about annuals. Did I really grab one about pests and diseases? Because I did not mean to get one about pests and diseases because this is not cute, baby. This is not it. <laughs> this is gross, okay? <laughs> I, did, I don't know why I grabbed this one. I would know if I had. What is going on with this tree? Now, what are you doing to this tree? They're injecting a lot. What are they doing? Multiple doses of a chemical fungus fighter? That thing is going to become a villain in a comic book. I'm telling you that right now. What is this? <laughs> I don't think I've ever picked this one up. And now I see why. Because this is just weird. But anyways, that's one of them too. <laughs> and then this landscape and gardening one too. Again, these are a dollar each. Definitely look out for this brown spine. Again, they are called the Time Life Encyclopedia of Gardening. So, yes. Okay. And ugh, let's see. I got these. I got this pack of scrapbook paper for a dollar. This was a good deal. Um, it's 12 by 12, really cute scrapbook paper. It has these, like, uh, Like, it has, like, an effect on the flowers. You see how only the flowers are shiny? It has, like, a gloss over the flowers. So this is pretty. I could just use this as a journal page. And it has a nice uh, background on it, too. So that's great. That is great. You could even write on this. Oh, I love it. I love it. There's at least, I don't know, probably, like, 20 pages of this. 20, 25, maybe. For a dollar, that was a good deal. That was a good deal. I went to Big Locks. That's where I got this basket, which I guess you can't really can't really see it. But 
I will, but I got this huge gray basket. And then I got this other gray plasticky. It has like these handles. I can't tell that it has these handles. And I got these just to organize them. I don't even know what. <laughs> and then I also got this awesome thing. This is it's an organizer of some sort. Let me show you. And it's just this like cube and it has these little cubbies. And I figured I could probably use this for um like when I have a project and I'll just stick the project in here. Like right now, I have this cat's project right here that I need to finish. And I can just put it like right there so it all stays together and I don't lose stuff for the project. <laughs> And I can visually see it's in the queue. So that's my idea for this. This was great. Um, it was $5. So I got it for $2.50, guys. I got this little organizer for $2.50. So that was also the steal of the, the century. It has this little crack right here. But I can live with it. I might get some, like, E6000 or just, I mean, I'm going to put it up next to something. So... I highly doubt it'll actually show, but this was a really, really good find. I'm really happy with this. Pretty solid. I mean, it's really solid. I, I This is uh, some, like, corrugated cardboard, but I'm not going to put nothing too heavy on it. So this is really nice and solid piece right here. Um, not too, too much damage. I can live with the damage it has, so I'm really happy for $250 for that thing. That was a good deal, y'all, this whole day. And then I did get some fabric, some fabric. If y'all don't know me, I work with a lot of bed sheet fabric. Let me get myself back here. I might not be the straightest, sorry. <laughs> I did get myself some nice new fabric. I do sell these eventually. So once I collect enough uh, fabric, I will do a little sample so that I do. Uh, baskets can help you organize or plan out. Yes, I have. I bought the the one with the handles to put my scrap fabric in because it's kind of just like floating everywhere. So now I can stuff it all in one place. <laughs> so I got this fabric, which is really cute. I'm getting very very picky with my fabric. Um, I want florals. I want small florals. And they have to be really, really cute. Otherwise, I don't want them. So I'm getting very, very picky with my fabric. Hi, Miss Rhonda. How are you? I'm getting very, very picky with my fabric because I have so much of it now. And I only want to buy what is really cute. I don't care if it's on sale. I don't care if uh, if it's... Uh, it has to be cute. It has to be floral, cute, small florals like that. So this is actually a, uh, a fitted sheet. And I did wash these already, so just so you know. <laughs> I always buy them and immediately toss them in the washing machine. So these are really cute. Uh, this could be really cute on the inside of covers. So I thought this was really, really precious fabric. So I liked this one. And I believe, what is your name? My name is Daisy. Daisy Collins. I, um... I believe the most expensive fabric I got was $3. I don't know the sizes of them, but since everything was half off, I believe the most expensive ones that I got were $3. All the other ones were under. Some were $3, some were less than $3. But it's just such a good deal. I didn't get that many fabrics. <laughs> I mean, I did now that I see them all together. <laughs> uh, so I did get some. So this was really pretty. Pale pink, well, not really pale pink, but like dusty pink. That's more like a better word for a dusty pink with some white uh, flower patterns. And I thought this could be very neutral, exactly very versatile, and it could look really cute um, in my um, in my scrap uh, my scrap crazy quilts. And look, it just goes with everything. Look, it goes with this one already. Like it could be this could be the outside. This could be the inside. Outside inside. Love it. So I want to make sure I got that one. And I was, like I said, I was very, very picky. There wasn't too many, but I was very, very picky. Here's another uh, fabric that I got here. This one doesn't really have the smallest of florals. 
But the sections that it does have florals in are really cute. And I could just cut them out for a little patch. And I thought these would work really, really cute with my um, patchwork. If I just isolate these flowers right here. Because it's kind of boring. I hate too much white space. But sometimes I can isolate the florals and they look really, really cute too. Um, this one also has some like little butterflies on there. So I thought that was really cute. That's why I got these right here. Again, it's pink. A uh, really cute pastel fabric, and then the border is really beautiful. Sometimes the border of these bed sheets are <laughs> really, really nice. So this is a really, really pretty border, and I, I love to use up that fabric, too. Um, I got this teal and, like, uh like a dark dark green and like some blues i thought this was really pretty really interesting fabric it has a lot of white space but it has enough design in it so it's not really a problem so this could be really cute as an inside cover for journals or also like a cover with the cardstock uh cardstock on the inside that would be really really cute with this i really liked it again i and then and then of course like i said the band right here like look this is beautiful right here of course, that's just the band of it, but it's just gorgeous. I can't wait to use this fabric, too. So exciting. And then I got, this is already, this is already like a quilted piece. It's like a pretty big piece of uh, quilt material. And I feel like I'm going to cut this up and sew around the edge. And that's going to be my cover. It's already quilted. It's already got all the pieces. So I'm going to cut it and then sew around it, fold it in half, and that's going to be my cover, I think. I, the, the, pa the pattern is just out of this world beautiful. Like, gorgeous. I know, right, Jen? I know, right? <laughs> and so that's why I bought this one. Um, I'm going to do something with this. This is just, it was just too pretty to pass up. It really was just too pretty to pass up. So I'm like, I got to do something with it. Okay. I got a few more to show off, and then that is it for me. I got this really cute cream fabric with these really small blue flowers. And I thought this was so like Country Kitchen. I loved it. So this is, uh, oddly, probably one of my favorites of the night. I can already see how many combos it could go with. I mean, it could go with this fabric right here. I mean, that was just so cute. It would also go with this fabric right here. It's pretty versatile, nice cream background and little blue flowers. Um, the next one I got is this cream uh, cream background with these blue roses. Is it backwards? Let me see if it's backwards. There we go. Blue roses, cream background, brown leaves. How cute is that? It would also go with this. Look, look how cute these two would look. Outside cover, inside cover. Those would look so cute, so adorable. So I'm looking forward to making these a mix. I don't think I've done blue junk journal covers. Uh, this this would be a cute little mix for like a shabby chic uh, blue maybe, blue themed journal. I don't know. I don't know, I normally go with color schemes, but I think these two would look so cute together. It's just such a nice quaint background. Like I said, it's very country kitchen. <laughs> very country kitchen. And so those are all bed sheets. And then these, I think I ended up stealing one, but they were both on one hanger. But when I got home, there was two tags. And I was like, well, why was it on one hanger? I didn't, normally if it's on one hanger, that's like one item, you know? So sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry if I stole sabers. I'm so sorry, I did not mean to. <laughs> You know what? I was tired when I was done with all this shopping, girl. I, I was tired. I was tired. Okay, so the last fabric, and I believe these are curtains, if I'm not mistaken. I believe these are curtains. And I got this because, first of all, look at this fabric right here. It is gorge. Cream background, green leaves, taupe, taupe roses. I cannot. So beautiful. So beautiful. I could not pass this up. This is kind of be, going to be a little tricky to cut up, but um, I think there's enough fabric in here to make it worth it for me. Also, why I bought this is because on the inside, 
is basically already an accompanying fabric that would look great with it, right? So already two in one, I got, I got two fabrics in one. So this is going to be the perfect like inside cover fabric to this one. I'm done. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Right, Jen? I feel the same way, girl. I feel the same way. Like I said, I was very, very picky. There wasn't really a lot. And <laughs> I say that, but I'm sitting here with like 10 new fabrics. So <laughs> I want to say there wasn't a lot, but I, <laughs> I did make out with <laughs> quite a few designs here. So thank you guys so much for joining me for this video. I will be coming back at 10 p.m. And I will be working on my Christmas journal. So if you are interested, please come back in an hour and we will get into the Christmas spirit. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. Thank y'all for chatting with me. If you do have a moment, please give me a little thumbs up. It really helped me out and my channel. Thank you guys so much for the conversation and I'll see you in a little bit.